Welcome back to a new video here in Swafi. This video is sort of like a continuation of the previous paper cutout or cutout effect video in which I'm going to show you how to do this cutout effect. Now it's not that complicated, it's just a bunch of frozen frames or freeze frame scenes that then we turn into these little cutouts by adding a couple of overlays and effects like that. So let me just show you what I did. So we're going to cut these and separate our timeline right here. And the way I did that, the other one was I actually grabbed a couple of different scenes or, or shots, I guess, and I actually cut them out and separate them like these so that there's sort of like a little jumpiness to in them like that. And then what you can do is actually you can grab a freeze frame of each of these, which will be one of these, one of these, and then one of these, cut it like that. And we're gonna freeze this frame, then this one, and then this one. But this is just an option. You can actually just do it with the first one and then add a bunch of little cutouts of this first one. But it's really up to you, right? So in this case, we can actually just put this like that. And we're gonna bring this there. A little bit closer, maybe. Okay, and then we have that there. Then we're gonna open this in Fusion or just create a new Fusion clip like in the previous video. If you just open this, this is gonna open in the resolution of this and not exactly on the resolution of your timeline. So if it is bigger than your timeline, like a 4K video, for example, and you don't have enough power, this might crash your program if you don't do if you don't create a new Fusion composition. So here it's 1920 by 10A, so we're fine in that regard. Then we're gonna actually create a new background and we're gonna press Ctrl T and we're gonna make these a little bit white-ish. After that, we're gonna go and add a polygon. And in this case, the mask just has to be pretty big for this type of effect. And it doesn't have to cover everything, but if you want, you can probably do it like that. Add a couple more points here. And if you have a little curve here, the way to solve this is by selecting everything and then press Shift L or just go to linear here and that way it's gonna get rid of the curve so it looks more like a scissor cut it right okay after we have that we can go and copy these to the background that we have here and right now it's the same size so we have to either you can add, right click these and change the actual polygon by moving these or just make the size a little bit bigger and then you have to adjust the positioning of these a little bit like that too the most accurate way of doing this will be probably adjusting the actual polygon so that you don't have one area being bigger than the other but that's really just details and it's up to you a little quick interruption i am working on the creator elements bundle this is going to be a bundle that's going to cover elements which are going to be animated elements tools and graphics that are going to be specifically for creators if you want to check out the website page where there's a few more details on this you can go to the link in the description. And that is it for the quick interruption. Let's continue with the video. Okay, after we have these, we can go ahead and add the texture. In this case, it's gonna be this grunge sort of texture. And we have it there. You can add a transform node to these so that we can position it whenever we, wherever we want this to be. And we're gonna change the apply mode to screen or overlay it's really up to you right in this case it really looks pretty all right and then we can decrease the gain and the blending a little bit and also we're gonna grab this polygon right here and since this image has a big resolution we're not gonna be able to add the mask on top of this one because it's gonna get messed up let me just show you how just so that you see if we add this polygon to these, it's going to look completely different because it's going to be affected by this transform and the resolution of these is different too. So you have to make sure to add this into the merge node right here. That way it's going to affect the same one. Now, the only thing that I don't specifically like in this case of the overlay mode is that it doesn't affect the white color that we have here. So we can actually adjust the color and make this a little bit more grayish and then we can probably see a little bit more of the effect. But if it is too much, then maybe playing around with the screen might work better, right? But this is all about just trying things and just playing around and see what looks best. 
and uh, yeah so then the last thing we can do if you want is also add a drop shadow and bring this closer and make it less blurry it's like that maybe now that you have this drop shadow you can actually copy these select this media in it and press ctrl shift and v to create an instance and that's going to create a little bit of a layer of separation again into this one and it looks all right uh, actually it doesn't look that great so we're gonna just get rid of that there and gonna leave it like that another thing that i didn't do in this case was to add the sharpen effect so we can do that now before we forget connect these there and then increase the amount of sharpen so that the effect is, looks a little bit more interesting but this is just a really minimal effect so it's not a must step to take it's only if you really want to because at this distance you barely see it right so it's just a i guess gimmicking a gimmick if you want to if you if you will now that we have these what we can do is actually just we're gonna copy these um we're gonna basically grab these background all the way until the drop shadow and copy these and now we will basically repeat the same process for the other ones create the new fusion clip add these like that connect these there get rid of there and we're gonna create our polygon here in this case another thing that we can do is actually connect that same polygon to the background that we have here which is the white part and we're going to press Ctrl Spacebar and add a transform. There we can make this a little bit bigger in, this, in the same way, but then we don't have to add, then we don't have to adjust the actual polygon itself that much. Now that we have that, we can actually just copy and paste this so that it's not that long of a trip onto this next merge node. But in this case, we can actually just copy this transform node paste these and holding shift put it right in between and then that's going to be a the same size as these polygon with the transform node now if i select this polygon you can see where it's at right now with the path of it so we can actually just make these a little bit bigger so it's covering that image that we want right here this type of effect takes a lot more of just like playing around and seeing when you get to a point that you like, right? Now, one thing that you notice here is that our overlay effect is get, getting cut out and that is because of the transform node is not in position. Right here, we move these and then we are set. Okay, so I'm going to do that for the last one and then show you the end result. Okay, so here we have the three of them and then we can see the effect in action. And if it is too slow, you can just make these uh, smaller since we don't have any animations in them. That way the effects is a little bit shorter and a little bit more punchy, I guess. And yeah, so that is the basics of how you would do these. This is just a basic example of showing you how to start and then how you can just from there create your own style of cutouts and expand these into your own project i hope this video is helpful and that you learned something new and i'll see you in the next video here in slack bye